if I was only profiting $100, I can't live off $100 once a month. And this is why pricing your designs and tracking the numbers that go in and out of your business is so, so important. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel with my inspiring designs with me, Justine, where all I want to do is inspire the event designer in you. There were so many mistakes I made when it came to pricing my balloon garlands and now that I'm an event business coach, I see my designers making the same mistakes and I'm like, yeah, we need to share this with everyone so we can stop it like yesterday. <laughs> And with the mistakes that I made when it came to pricing my balloon garlands, it was tragic because I lost a lot of money from these mistakes. So if you want to save money, if you want to avoid these mistakes, I suggest you to watch all the way to the end because if you do, I'll give you a bonus tip on really how to gain back-to-back -back clients and I have something special to tell you. The first mistake I made when it came to pricing my balloon garlands is pretty something that I see across the boards, but especially with people who are just getting started in their event business. But there are a few people who have event businesses that still make the same mistake as well. This mistake is lack of confidence with your pricing. And I want to be very clear and very transparent that although this may not be something that's ideally when it comes to your pricing your designs, but if you think about it, let's say for instance you have seen this video and you've really <clears throat> mapped out how you are going to price your balloon garlands, the next step is actually being confident with that price. And a lot of people will lowball themselves and bring their prices even lower, even after watching that video to let you know, hey, these are the things you actually should be taking it account for. When you don't have confidence with your balloon garlands or the price that you are worth in your eyes and through other people's eyes, you can't sell. Like you won't be able to get clients in the door because of lack of confidence. Think about this. When you go to buy a car, right, and you deal with a salesperson, we all had probably pretty rough experiences with salespeople, but then sometimes there's like a few of those people who actually make us feel comfortable to purchase because a car is so expensive and it's a really expensive investment. However, what they do is they, they are very confident with what they're selling and you came into the door, which is your clients, right? And so the only part that a salesperson has to do is be confident with their pricing and give you reasons why you should invest now. That's the same thing when it comes to pricing your designs. Have that confidence. Be okay with knowing that whatever you're charging is worth it. You have to really be for your business, for your designs, because nobody else will. When you lack confidence and you don't feel comfortable, clients can tell. You've been a client before for some other businesses, whether it's buying a car or buying an expensive handbag. Either way, you know what it feels like to put a lot of money down for something that you want or that you don't know if you want, but somebody kind of persuades you to do so. And you trusted that salesperson. Now, that salesperson on a personal level doesn't really care whether or not you buy, but they want you to buy so they can either make money, get commission, or whatever else bonuses that come with the sale. The same thing holds true with your clients. Your clients are coming in the door, but if you lack confidence, there's no trust. And when there's no trust during the transaction, there is no transaction. And I've experienced that so many countless times, especially with people who DM me all the time wondering like, how do I price my design? And I go on their profiles and they have beautiful designs. And I'm like, why are you contacting me when you your work should be selling itself? The easiest thing is putting a price tag on it now. Okay, but the biggest challenge a lot of event designers have is they don't know how to get in front of the right clients who are willing to pay. And that will be for another video, so make sure you subscribe so that way you hear more about those strategies that I'll go over. Another mistake that I made when it came to pricing my balloon garlands is I was selling instead of serving. Now, what do I mean by that? Because really, a lot of people will be like, this has nothing to do with pricing your balloon garlands, but before you click out of this video, 
let me walk you through what I'm talking about. As a client, you don't like to be sold to. No one actually likes to be sold to. Imagine telemarketers calling your phone nonstop trying to sell you something. Eventually, you'll block them, you'll silence them, you won't even pick up the phone because you're tired of being sold to, especially for things you don't see as a good investment. The same thing holds true with clients. If you're selling all the time, especially on your digital platforms, they're not going to want to buy from you. You have to show them why should I purchase from you. The number one reason why a client should buy from you is you're serving them. You have a service. You have an event service business and your service provides all these things that are convenient for your clients. Now, how does that tie in with pricing your balloon garlands? Let me tell you why. When you change your perspective on serving your clients versus selling, it actually changed the dynamic of the first mistake. Okay, You actually become more confident with discussing your price to your clients. If you don't have both of these things when it comes to pricing your designs, you won't sell. Like, I, I don't know how else to tell you guys, and you know I love you all, and I'm gonna give you that tough love. Everybody knows this to be true. Most of the time, pricing your balloon garlands really has nothing to do with the price, but more or less your mindset. Like, what is really going on up here? And these are the two biggest mistakes that I made because I wasn't confident with my price and people could tell, right? So then I lowballed where I did feel comfortable, which ended up putting me in the negative when I first started my business. And then I was always selling, selling, selling. Why aren't you promoting what service you provide? Because when you start to do that, then it changes the dynamic of how confident you feel in pricing, which then leads into you knowing that your price is the right fit for your clients. The next thing or mistake that I made when it came to pricing my balloon garlands is, I used to use this terminology when I was a teacher. I don't know if it's a real terminology, but I'm gonna use it here. I guesstimated my numbers. <laughs> I guesstimated my price. And what do I mean by that? When I started getting back-to-back -back clients, a client used to always you know, tell me, hey, can you do this? And I used to just look at the picture and be like, yes, I can. And it will be this much. I had no idea how many like feet the balloon garland had to be. I had no idea how many balloons it needed. I didn't know where the balloon garland would be on the wall or if it needed a stand. Like all of those things that I just mentioned have a price point in your business. And I didn't take account for any of it. And when you guesstimate a price, and there's nothing wrong with giving a quote. I wanted that to be very clear. You can give a quote, but when you guesstimate a price, and that's all I did, when I guesstimated and I gave them a price, that was the price. And let me tell y'all, y'all ready for, I went into the negative. When you're guesstimating a price and you're not actually tracking the right numbers for how much each type of balloon garland is in your business, or to be honest, any type of event business, you're going to lose out on hundreds and sometimes thousands of dollars, depending on how long you've been in business. And this is a huge, huge mistake so many designers make. And I'm talking almost every time I interact with somebody, I say, how are you tracking your numbers? And a lot of them don't know how. And because it's very taboo about what to do. So it's understandable, like nobody really is gonna teach you in our industry, but this is something that's super important when it comes to understanding your worth and understanding that this is how you avoid going into the negative and into the hole with your business, even though you can see the cash in your account. So the next thing when it comes to pricing my balloon garlands is, I didn't pay myself a salary. So now before you click out of this video, again, I'm gonna sit here and give it to you straight. You have to get paid even if you're way beginning and only getting like one or two clients a month or maybe not clients. You have to put in your separate paycheck or let me back up. You actually have to pay yourself 
before you reinvest back into your business. And it's the one thing I didn't do at all. Actually, I did one or the other. I either spent all the money I had or it went right back into my business. I never got to reap with what I sowed and I never got to reap the rewards for designing these beautiful balloon garlands for my clients. If I was only profiting $100, I can't live off $100 once a month. And this is why pricing your designs and tracking the numbers that go in and out of your business is so, so important. And it's the one thing that has switched my mindset to then get back to back clients. And now I knew how to handle my money a lot better versus when I first started. Because when you start to pay yourself first, you're the CEO. Not everybody should not get paid before you. Now, some people might argue against is like, well, in order for me to get more back to back clients, I need to invest in inventory. I need to do this. I need to do that. Well, let me give you a bonus tip because as I promised in the beginning of the video, if you stood to the end, I was going to give you guys a bonus tip on really how to get back to back clients. So we discussed all the mistakes that I actually made, but what does it actually take to go from pricing your designs into getting back to back clients? Because they walk hand in hand. You really have to have a strategic plan in answering the following questions. Why would a client book you for their next event? How do you stand out from the rest in your local community? What transformation are you delivering to all of your clients when they book you? And then what kind of client experience is actually going on in your business from the time the person books to the time they have their event with you? And these are the questions that really, like if you can answer these questions, you'll find a way to get those back-to-back -back clients. However, if you're still lost, I'm actually going to be offering a live workshop where we will discuss all of these questions and create an action plan for you on how to get back to back clients. So if you're interested in learning more, I highly suggest that you attend this live workshop. The link will be down below. You don't want to miss out because a lot of my designers went from this getting zero clients or maybe one to two clients a month to getting this, getting booked out back to back for weekends on end, sometimes months on end when it comes to their business by working with me. So I have seen it all. I have heard it all. And I'm putting it all together in this free workshop for you. And I would love for you to be there. So that way I can show you the action plan you need to create in order to get those back-to-back -back clients, which will lead to being confident and being able to price your balloon design or just any event business when it comes to your design. So if you're interested, feel free to click the link down below. I hope to see you there. There are going to be some great gems that I have unveiled in my coaching program that I'm going to give to you guys for free. So make sure you guys go check out that training. I would love to have you there with me. And if you stick to the end of the training, I will answer any and all questions when it comes to the live Q and A that I will have at the end of the training. So I hope to see you there. Continue designing your dreams into reality and I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye. Oh, of course I would lose my remote in the middle of my lesson.